الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اسال الله كريم رب العرش العظيم ان يتولنا في الدنيا والاخره we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil protect us from kulli su'a makruh rectify our condition and affairs have mercy upon our souls ahabat filaf from the traits and the uniqueness of the people of success is that they command the good and forbid the evil ahabat filaf Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas ta'muruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhawna anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah You are the best of nations that were ever that ever came from the people You command the good and you forbid evil and you believe in Allah wa tu'minu billah ahabat fillah these are the traits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his ummah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala in majma'in and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa salaf as-salih ridwan Allah alayhim and if that is the case we need to strive our best to have those traits and standards by commanding the good and forbidding the evil and believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that means believing in the believing and practicing all the aspects of tawhid islamic monotheism cuz that's the first pillar of Islam is that testimony of faith and the first pillar of iman is to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the believers adhere stringently to this this trait this trait is is their trait and they command the good and forbid the evil Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Al Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he states Fa khassa haula'i bi falah duna man adahum wa da'iuna ila al khair هو داعون الى كتاب الله وسنه رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا داعون الى فلان وفلان احبت في الله this is عظيم what شيخ الاسلام ابن القيم mentions احبت في الله so ibn al-qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he mentions he says that Allah has specified when explaining this ayah or ayat regarding commanding the good and forbidding the evil he says Allah has specified them with falah with success instead of others and they are callers to good they give da'wah to khair to sunnah to tawhid to command in the good and forbid in the evil they are the callers to the book of allah and the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are not callers or da'i or du'at 
to so and so and so and so. Ahabatifillah Ibn al Qayyim is negating, falsifying, destroying the concept of Hezbiyah. I know people feel uncomfortable, they don't like to talk about the concept of Hezbiyah. But Hezbiyah is real. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Hezbollah, his Hezb. They are the people of success, the people who follow the book and the sunnah. And they, these are the people Ibn al-Qayyim is describing. Why? Because they don't call to themselves. They don't say, follow me, you need me, uh, my sheikh, my people, my this, my that, la. Not based on race, not based on nationalism, not based on anything else, but qala Allah wa qala Rasul. Allah said and his messenger said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah has specified them, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim mentions. Allah has specifically mentioned them because they call to the good, they prohibit the evil, and that's what their da'wah is based upon. It's not based on so-and-so and so-and-so. Follow this Shaykh blindly. Follow this personality blindly. Abedin. And this reminds me of the beautiful statement of Shaykhana Imam Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi'i, Allah yarhamahu wa yaskinahu fi jannatan na'im, when he said, Dawa to Ahlu Sunnah, Dawa to min kitabi la ila kitabi la, women sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, ila sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. He said the da'wah of Ahlul Sunnah, the propagation of Ahlul Sunnah, the call of Ahlul Sunnah is calling from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah and from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Imam Muqbal was saying the same thing that Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim was saying because that's the minhaj of the Salaf. And this is what is understood from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa madhab and sabila mu'mineen wa sabila salaf as-sadih ridwan Allahi alayhim So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil protect us from kulli su'u makro bless us to be ahla ta'muruna bil ma'roof wa tanhuna anil munkar May Allah bless us to be from those people who commanded the good and forbid the evil for his sake, seeking his pleasure and his favor. And may Allah forgive us of our many, countless shortcomings and sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.